I come from a background of skateboarding and surfing and music culture, and it was always strange to me to enter into um, a sport, which I really loved. I just didn't feel like I really fit into in terms of like the clothes we were wearing, at least what was printed on them. I'm Jay Faircane. I'm creative director and founder and designer of Angry Bovine. I was tired of being part of a democracy in terms of the design of a cycling kit, and I was like, let's just see what they could become if they were single views. And so that gave me an opportunity to work with pattern and work with colorways that weren't necessarily found um, in a lot of cycling. Um, and that led me to kind of launching my own um, kits on an annual basis, which also gave somebody a way to kind of rally around, like if they didn't make it in one year, or they didn't like the design being done one year, they could wait another year and we're gonna do another one. This year in particular, we were able to do a series of colorways. So we, we launched with uh, two interchangeable jerseys and a common bottom, um, which was a concept I was kind of interested in doing. And then um, we had such um, good reception to that um, that we just took the colorway and kind of spun one of them, literally inversed it and reproduced another one and got people to sign up for those too. So. Bovine in particular kits were an opportunity for me to show people what I think cycling kits could be or should be. For the lack of a better word, the southern kind of California skate culture and gangs and even that kind of stuff. There was something just cool about that aesthetic. And so what we tried to do is like deconstruct that and interpret it back into kits this year. So um, really what you're looking at is deconstructed bandanas. So one of the interesting things is how to take this very considered and differentiated fitting clothing, so a high performance value, but how to also bring in um, some things that haven't been seen yet, potentially, in design. Because we're finding out a lot more people, I think, are becoming style conscious. I mean, you're already in Lycra, which is, I think, a strike against most people, but then if you can somehow up it or make it feel a lot more like a stylish piece of clothing, which is what we're really trying to aim for, is move it more into the fashion realm versus trying to make it feel like um, jock gear, you know? Um, and I think if you can hit somewhere in between too, that's a pretty cool collision. There was a turning moment when I first started like riding bikes with, with Don and he was kind of giving me the background on where he really wanted to take um, Panache. And there is this very underlying, um, out of all the cycling clothing brands, especially custom, um, that they really do consider design to be a really big part of their process. Um, it's very integral to the product they create. Where does cycling fit into my creative process? Uh, it actually fits, it's, it's really integral to the creative process. And I think it's, it's now where I am in my life. Cycling for the past 15 years or so has been my pressure relief valve. I do do a lot of problem solving from the saddle. I think um, a guy told me a long time ago, never try, you're never gonna solve a problem sitting at your computer. Um, and so I know that getting away from it and tumbling it around in your head for a while and um, solving it out there and coming back with a fresh perspective on it. Just getting your body moving really does help your brain kind of think more. Sometimes you're just like, you feel like you're up against the wall and uh, one of the good ways to break it is to get out and just step away from it and the bike provides an awesome opportunity for that.